Welcome to Creators Tech. I'm LL Mel, and today we're going to try and make this Boom Pro microphone sound a little bit better. Can it compete with something like the likes of the Elgato Wave 1? I'm going to teach you a few tricks that might come in handy when you're starting out in content creation. Well, your first question might be, how am I going to get this little budget microphone to sound like another type of microphone that can cost you up to $100 or perhaps even more? Well, it comes down to equalization. Sometimes a microphone is only as good as its equalizer. In this case, you. You are the person equalizing the sound to make it sound as good as you can make it for your specific voice. Today we're going to be going through some equalization settings on this microphone. So far you've been listening to me with the Elgato Wave 1 microphone. The reason I chose this microphone is because it's a very popular microphone. I know it's not necessarily the most expensive out there, the highest quality out there. However, due to its popularity, many of you out there might already have it. And I'm using the Elgato Wave 1. You might be using the Elgato Wave 3 microphone, which is even more popular than this one. Uh, however, they have the same microphone capsule, so they create the same sound signature as well. I have no equalization settings set on the Elgato Wave 1 microphone right now. What you are hearing is what you get straight out of the box. Equalization options are also available for this Elgato Wave 1 microphone. However, for the sake of this video, we are not using it right now. What we are going to do is we're going to go ahead and set up the equalizer for the Boom Pro microphone. Now you are listening to me on the Boom Pro microphone. As you can probably tell, especially those that are wearing headphones, the sound coming from the Boom Pro microphone is a little bit thin. It's not as pronounced. It's not as rounded out as a higher level microphone as a more expensive microphone just so you can hear once again this is the Elgato wave microphone this is the boom pro microphone with no equalization so what we're gonna go ahead and do now is we're going to add equalization to this boom pro microphone and you tell me how good it sounds once we're through with it so now what you're looking at is the open broadcasting system software in this software you will see the screen and on your screen you see that we have the boom pro USB microphone now this is one of these microphones that you can directly plug in to your computer and it should work using the TRRS jack or it also functions as a separate microphone plug with the 3.5 millimeter and a separate audio headphone plug with the 3.5 millimeter. In my experience, unless you have good inputs for your computer, the sound is going to be very noisy and not come clear at all. So, an easy solution is to get an external sound card. Usually they range about $10 or $15 depending on where you get it. But personally, I've been having good luck with getting cheap ones from Amazon. In the description section, you can find a link to this device. So we have this Boom Pro microphone plugged in to the external USB card and that's plugged in via USB 2.0 into my PC. Now that we're here, we're going to go ahead and click on the microphone options. So we click on these little three dots and then we go to 
filters. Once we're in the filters for mic page, we go to the audio filters, we click on the add button, and then we go to the VST 2.x plugin. Now, depending on the version of OBS that you may have, this may be already present here, or you might need to download it separately. A quick Google search will help you with that. Just make sure you type in VST 2.x plugin for OBS. Once we're here at the plugin, we go ahead and launch it by clicking OK. So it's launched within the app. And then once on here, we select the specific part of the plugin that we want to use. Now I know this might be a little overwhelming for some, but if you follow my instructions, it should be easy as pie. We're going to go ahead and go down to the REA EQ. EQ stands for equalizer, standalone. So the RE EQ. So once we're here, we have it selected, and now we can open the plugin interface. And this is the meat and potatoes that we were looking for. This is the equalizer that is going to help us improve the sound quality of a tinny little microphone like this Boom Pro that I'm using. Now, right here we have four bands of equalization. Keep in mind that what I am about to do is an equalizer setting set up specifically for my voice. You might all have different types of voices, therefore you're going to need different types of equalization. And you might spend a different amount of times just trying to equalize your voice to make it sound just perfect for you. In my case, I probably spent about an hour and a half fiddling with these equalizer settings, trying to get the most out of them. Now there are some general things that you will learn from this video where I'm going to go ahead and teach you how to equalize certain aspects of this to improve the sound quality. Now let's begin here. On band one, what I typically do is I, I don't grab it like we do here. You see this? We can grab the equalizer option and equalize it manually through this. However, I have my specific formula already set up. So with the frequency, I have this first band set to 50. And that's in Hertz. The gain, I have it set to zero. And the bandwidth is set to two. However, this is quite important. On the left part of this equalization screen, this is the low end sound the bass in your voice. Up on the right hand side it's going to be the high end sound. The high shrills in your voice, the high pitched noises are going to be towards the right. And as you can guess, everything else in between is going to be right in the middle. So for the first band, we have already set it to 50 and 0 and 2. And the type of band is going to be a high pass. What that's going to do is you can see here it's going to taper off all the low end noise. It's going to take out the hum or the low end sounds from your room and also taper off a little bit from your voice as well. It's just going to make it sound a little bit cleaner and smoother. Now we're going to click on the second equalizer setting. And as you can see, the type is set to band. We're going to keep it at that. The frequency I prefer is 110. And the gain is going to be set to 9. And the bandwidth I prefer on this one is going to be set to 3. So as you can see here, it's going to open it up just a little bit. I particularly have a thinner voice than what I like it to sound. 
on screen. So I will go ahead and boost the low ends just a little bit. Now we're going to go to equalizer band number three. And we're going to continue tweaking this. And these are the mid, mid sounds now. I like to set this one to about 10,000. I'm sorry, 1,000 with a gain of two and a bandwidth. We're going to keep it at two here as well. Now to, oh, and the type is sta staying as band. Okay, band number four, as you can see right here, it says high shelf. We're going to keep it here as band. And the frequency that I'm that I prefer for this one is going to be set to 5,000. So we're good here at 5,000. The gain, I'm going to change it to six. And I'm going to keep the bandwidth at two. Now I'm looking at my little formula here and my wavelength for the equalizer doesn't look quite right. I'm going to go back to number three. And I think I made one little mistake here. Ah, uh, yes, number three. So it's set to 1,000. And this is set to two here. It's actually negative two. So I'm going to take out some of those annoying uh, sounds that are not very pleasant to the ear on band number three. So then we did number four. And some people might be okay with just having four bands to equalize. I prefer to have a fifth band. So how do you add a band? First, we go to this little button here that says add band. So now we have a fifth band. The fifth band is going to be around this zone here, as you can see on your screen. So I'm just going to leave it there, but specifically, the frequency that I'm going to be having to adjust on this fifth band is we're going to set it to 15,000. So there we are at that frequency. The gain is going to stay at zero and the bandwidth is going to stay at two. Now, as we did with the low end, we also need to do something similar to the high end. And that's what's called a low pass filter. And when we do this low pass filter to the high end sounds, that's going to take away some of the shrill on the high end noises, on the high pitch noises. And that's also going to help clean up the audio by not absorbing some of the background noises that are higher pitched. So for my particular voice, this is the setup that I want. And you should probably hear the difference by now compared to when this video first started. So now we have this equalizer set up. I'm going to go ahead and close out of it. And we're going to close out of this screen as well. And now you can hear the Boom Pro all equalized. The sound should sound much better, much fuller. So now that we're here, I want you to listen to what the Boom Pro sounds as it is here with all these filters. And now I'm going to go ahead and disable the filter so you can hear what it sounded like before. This is the Boom Pro with the filters. And this is the Boom Pro with no filters. Does it make a difference? Does it make a difference? You tell me. You tell me. What does this Boom Pro sound with no filters? And now, what does this Boom Pro sound with the filters? It's a much better improvement, if I don't say so myself. Now, let's go ahead and compare it to the original microphone that we started this video off with. So, what sounds better to you, the Boom Pro or the Elgato Wave 1? Now, please keep in mind that the Elgato Wave microphones can range anywhere from $75 to up to $130. So this is a step up when it comes to microphone quality. Plus, it's a bigger microphone, 
so it picks up a lot more nuance in the sound. However, if you're on a budget and you just want to add a microphone like this one to your already existing headset, it doesn't matter what kind of headset you have as long as it takes a 3.5 millimeter jack. And like I mentioned before, you do have an external sound card so you don't get all that extra noise. How does it compare to this Boom Pro? This Boom Pro, if I don't say so myself, compares quite nicely, especially when you think about the price. This Boom Pro retails sometimes for around the range of $20 to $25. This is the older version of the Boom Pro. So the Boom Pro sounds really nice when you do a little bit of equalization to it. I hope that if you are a new content creator, and you don't have very much money yet to spend on a nice microphone because, let's face it, a good sounding quality microphone is going to be the first thing that you should really spend your money on if you want to start with content creation. Even more important than a webcam or any kind of video cam for your streams. If you don't have good audio, your listeners are going to be put off by it. So the first thing that you should invest in is something that sounds nice. Now, I understand this is something that's only $20 about, and it's an entry-level microphone. So it's not going to be the best. However, that doesn't mean you have to settle for the way it sounds just out of the box. This is what the Boom Pro sounds like with equalization settings on. This is the Elgato Wave microphone with no equalizations. Now, a reminder, you can also add equalization to the Elgato microphones. And we're back to the Moon Pro. Soon I'll be having uh, more videos like this with some tutorials and perhaps some tips of what you can do with these apps that help you with equalization. There's also another app that can help this equalizer, the VST plugin, work with any mic that is plugged into your computer via USB. And it doesn't require OBS to be turned on so that you can actually use it while gaming and not necessarily streaming using OBS. So you can use it over other applications such as Discord or perhaps just on any other Zoom call as well. You can have your microphone set up with the equalizer to sound just as good. I'll be bringing you a little bit more, so stay tuned here on Creators Tech. Technology for Creators.